Jenny with Acupuncture and Holistic Health Associates. I work with Curry over here at the Acupuncture Office. And I'm here with our guest blogger, Dana Kowaleski. And she's with Spark Wellness Solutions. So she's going to be telling us about um, a couple misconceptions that people have that could be sabotaging their health. Uh, to start, Dana, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself and Spark Wellness Solutions. Sure, so Spark Wellness Solutions um, is my company and what I do is I teach women how to get off the diet roller coaster, how to have really good health. Um, a lot of the issues that people have with trying to get healthy is that they don't know where to start. There's so much information out there. I mean, you mm -hmm. could spend your entire lifetime reading about things on the internet and how to be healthy, but there is just so much information that you can get bogged down and really mm -hmm. just keeps you from taking a next step. Yeah. Um, so I teach people sustainable ways to eat and to live so that they don't have to ever diet again or really worry about developing a lot of major diseases. Nice. Well, she's going to share a couple, like I said, common misconceptions that people have. So the first one that you brought up is that all organic is good. And you said that's a common misconception that people have. Can you tell us a little more about that? Yeah, so organic produce, definitely, that's a great thing. Switching from conventional, so the typical produce you find in the store. But what a lot of people do is they go from eating processed foods like Hamburger Helper, um, cereals, granola bars, that type of thing, and they just switch to organic granola, um, cereal, all stuff that they used to eat processed, but they're still eat, but now they're eating organic processed food. Well, that stuff is just as bad in the sense that if you're just switching from conventional to organic and you're not adding in any whole foods like fruits, mm -hmm. vegetables, unprocessed food, you're really just lessening your toxic load a little bit, but overall your health isn't going to change dramatically. So an organic hot dog is still a hot dog regardless, and it still is processed, and it's not necessarily that you're eating healthy just because it says organic on the package. Yeah, and that and in that case, I mean, it is healthier. Yeah. But, you know, if you're just eating hot dogs every day, <laughs> and not ever eating, you know, vegetables or fruit, you pretty much are doing the same thing you were before. Just Got a it. little bit better, but not where you're being healthy. Got it. And that makes sense though, because yeah. people see it on the package and they think, okay, well this is organic, it must be good for me. Exactly, so. exactly. So that's why I say all organic is good. It's not. You need to be aware of what you're eating and not just eating packaged foods. And when you talk about being aware of what you're eating, let's talk about the dairy. Because yes. you said too, and I know Curry's talked about this on here, that people really feel that dairy is, you know, really essential to health. Yep. But, you know, you and I have some different views on that. That, that. I mean, we agree, but, you know, that dairy is not necessarily that essential to health. Right. And so a lot of people think, oh, dairy, you know, the milk mustache, there's been a lot of, <laughs> I should say, propaganda, and that is put out by the people who produce milk and dairy. Yeah. That's put out by them. Milk is good for you. Because think about it, you know, 50 years ago, what were the tobacco companies saying or what were doctors saying? Oh, doctor, doctors recommend a pack of smokes a week to for better health. Well, we know that's not true. Yeah. So dairy, one of the big issues with dairy is, and I'm talking all dairy, but most common dairy that you would find in the store is pasture um, is pasteurized. So pasteurization heats the milk up or the dairy up so it kills all of the bacteria. Well, the problem is our body needs that bacteria in it in order to digest it properly. Gotcha. So the other issue is a lot of dairy comes from factory farms where the cows are not treated humanely. A lot of them are sick, are pumped with antibiotics, mm -hmm. um, and are fed genetically modified feed. So then whatever the cow is eating is what you're going to end up getting in the milk. So essentially after the pasteurization, um, you're eating a dead food. So it's really it's just liquid. Yeah. You're not really getting any nutrients out of it. You might get a little protein, a little bit of fat, 
but you're not getting what you need to assimilate it into your body. And then like you said, you're getting all those other additives, like the growth hormones and things like that that yes. they give to these animals. So. Yes, especially the antibiotics. That's a huge one right now. Yeah. You want to stay away from that. And you said that, you know, another common misconception people have is that diets work. So... Yes. The problem with that, diets don't work because there is no one diet that is going to work for everyone. You know, when someone's adamant and saying vegetarianism is for everyone, that is the way you are going to live the longest. Well, that's not true because everyone is different. Just because, you know, eating more raw veggies for me is what I thrive on doesn't mean that's what you're going to thrive on. Yeah. You're, and your body is so wonderful that it actually tells you what it needs. You just need to be able to listen to it. And that's why it's really important to do a detox and kind of get down to a good base where you can start to recognize what your body wants. Okay. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. So it's more about finding the lifestyle as far as what your body should, what's right for your body versus just going into like this process of trying to eliminate, you know, everything you think is bad, you know, and then even like you said, raw veggies are not right for everybody. You right, know. in a in a copious amount, you know, you might thrive better on more meat and potatoes, and I might thrive better on a salad or mm -hmm. you know something that's um, less cooked. It's it's all up to the person, and what's kind of great is that even if someone you know is not happy with where their weight at or where their health is at they already kind of eat how their body is supposed to naturally, okay. but they just eat the wrong types of it. Gotcha. And that's where you come in. Yes, exactly. You know, like you said, that's where you come in and kind of customize it towards, towards each person and see what they really need to do for their body and stuff, you know. And I know you offer a lot of great services that you were telling us about, mm -hmm. um, going to grocery stores with people, going through people's pantries, that kind of stuff, which is really nice that you offer those kinds of things because I think that's what people really need sometimes is well, what should I look for when I'm at the store. So Yeah, and that's I mean and that's what I love about being a health coach is that I can help people really create a sustainable way of living. So I yes, I go into people's homes and I actually clean out their pantries and that's say great. we sort it out, we say, yes keep this this you should donate and this we should just toss and it helps people start to realize oh my gosh I bought all this stuff and I sh you know I shouldn't be eating it mm -hmm. and then I tell people this is why you don't want this and this is why you do want this that's great and so once we're done doing that actually I take them to the grocery store we go grocery shopping to restock their pantry and say here's what's going to be more beneficial for you as opposed to what you had previously. Well, that sounds wonderful. So yeah. It's a lot of fun. I love it. <laughs> it might not be fun for everyone else, but it's fun for me. Well, great. Well, yeah. thank you, Dana. Again, this is Dana with Spark Wellness Solutions, mm -hmm. and we just want to thank her for joining us today. Did you have anything else to add? Uh, no, not today, but on my next one, certainly. Great. And maybe next time we'll go to the store. So yeah. thank you, guys. Thank you.